Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you how to do limits and sorts in PyMongo. So by limits, I just mean returning the first n results. So if I have, say, 100 results returned by the query normally, I can limit it to the first 10. So that's what I mean by limit. And by sort, I, of course, mean sorting. So I have a basic Flask app set up importing PyMongo. Um, and I have a database here set up with some documents in it in a collection called people. So I'm going to query this collection to demonstrate how to limit and sort. So the first thing I'll do is I'll um, get the database, so mongo.db.people, and I'll call this variable people. And then I'll query from people, uh, let's say results equals people.find. So this will give me everything in the people collection. And then for R in results, I just want to display this in a nice way. So I'll say um, output is going to be equal to R name plus a line break. And I need to initialize output to be an empty string. And then I'll return the output. So I'll save this and it's running. So I'll refresh the page and I should see all the names in the database, but I only see Ashley. So why do I only see one result? It's probably because I haven't uh, done this right. So it should be plus equal. So I'll refresh again. And no, it should be equal plus. Uh, got my syntax messed up today. So I'll refresh, and now I see Anthony, Marcus, Stephanie, Jeffrey, Will, Reza, Derek, and Ashley. And these uh, aren't in any order. So the first thing I'll do is sort them. Um, I can sort either ascending or descending. And to use those, I'll import PyMongo, and this is all lowercase. So from the Flask extension PyMongo, I'm importing uh, camel case PyMongo, and I'm importing just lowercase PyMongo. And this lowercase pi mongo has two constants called ascending and descending that I'm going to use to sort. So I have results and I do dot sort and I specify the, the key that I want to sort by. So I have a bunch of names in here. So I want to sort by the name key and then I need to specify what direction. So pi mongo dot ascending. So if I refresh, the name should be in ascending order. And this should be plus equals. I don't know why my syntax is messed up today. Okay. Um, so Anthony, Ashley, Derek, Jeffrey, Marcus, Reza, Stephanie, and Will. So this is in the alphabetical order. And if I do it the other way around, I should do descending and refresh. Then they'll be in reverse alphabetical order. So Anthony is now at the bottom and Will is at the top. So that's basic sorting. It's pretty easy to get down. So now if I want the top in results, let's do sending. So let me refresh again just to show you. And it takes a second to reload. So let's say I want the top three results. So it has Anthony, Ashley, and Derek here. And I want to ignore everything else. So all I have to do is add a limit. So dot limit three, save and then refresh, and I should only see the top three. And if I switch this to descending, then the names will be different. It should have Will and then a couple of others. So Will, Stephanie, and Reza. And of course, if I change the limit to something else like six, it will show me the top six results, just like that. So pretty simple stuff. Um, if I wanted to, I can move the the order around so I can put limit first and then sort second but um, it has an order operation so uh, it will always do the same thing Let's see get the same results if I change this to ascending again and then refresh I get that so like I said this is pretty basic stuff but if you ever use PyMongo and just a Mongo database in general you'll probably need to use these two things probably sort for sure and then limit depends on exactly what you're doing 
Uh, one gotcha that can happen with this is when you limit to one result and then refresh, you still get um, a cursor in as a result. And you have to loop over the cursor, even though there's only one thing in the cursor or this list of results, that's um, what it's represented as. Uh, you still have to loop over it to get the very first um, result in the the list. Otherwise, you'll try to print out a list and it won't make any sense. Uh, your program might crash. So just keep that in mind when you're limiting by one. But uh, two and greater, you should probably know you have to loop over the results. But one can be a little tricky. So that's all I want to show you for this video. If you have any questions about sorting or doing limits in uh, a Mongo database or PyMongo, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it um, whenever I have a chance. So I, I just noticed that I have the uh, old table name or database name from my last video. So probably should change that, it should be this. But nothing messed up because I didn't really have to insert anything or create a new collection. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.